Menominee Tribal School students are learning valuable lessons about protecting the environment and learning their tribe's heritage, including keeping native language alive. In April 2008, the Tribal School's 180 students participated in Clean Up the Res Day that improved the look of the entire reservation. The students went on several outings, including during gym class, to pick up garbage and litter around the reservation. The students collected numerous bags of trash that was properly disposed. The cleanups in Neopit and Kashina were among several projects during which the students and their families learned to respect the environment, a lesson that is a vital part of Menominee culture. The many environment projects at the Menominee Indian Tribe of Wisconsin were part of the tribe's participation in the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge. This is called the Bear Clan Song. Teachers and elders honored the students for their environmental work by holding a drum that included a feast. Students heard words of encouragement from two teachers, Beth Waukeshawn and culture teacher Dana Warrington. They told the students about the importance of taking care of Mother Earth because she takes care of us. They gave me some tobacco, so let them know. They asked me to pray a little bit, so I'm going to say a little prayer. Thanks that we still have our drums, thanks that we have a school, and be happy that we have something to eat here today. So I'm going to pray a little bit. The students had a chance to talk to elders about protecting the planet. And here's the feast after the opening ceremony for Earth Day and for the cleanup. This is the kindergarten through first grade, and there are the drummers over there. a field trip to Green Bay, the students had a picnic in Pamperin Park, where their Earth Day activities made one of the attractions even more special. The students climbed all over a replica of the planet Earth, and were reminded of their cleanup of the reservation. Fifth grader Larie Korn hopes to form an Earth Club at the school, located on the Menominee Reservation in Neopit, Wisconsin. After whitewashing gang graffiti at a popular skateboard park near the school, the students replaced negative symbols with traditional American Indian art. Korn, who was 11 years old, said students went down to the community park and painted over the graffiti and put up Native American applique designs. Korn said painting over the gang graffiti is important because instead of showing the gang symbols, the kids get to know their culture by seeing the Native American art. Like many students, Korn knows about 500 Menominee words, thanks to the tribal school teachers and elders that care about saving their native tongue. A group of tribal school fourth graders said they learned the importance of respecting the earth and how it fits with their heritage. My name is Tihika Wardon, and I think one way to help Mother Earth is pick up litter on the highway. My Indian name is Nini Gokyo. It means morning dove lady. My English name is Raven Ann Webster. Protecting the Earth because she gives us life, strength, and food. My name is Shea Price, and I think it's important to save our community because it's our home to live in and it's for the children because it's beautiful. My name is Nanikwe La Tender. It means happy woman in Menominee. One way to help Mother Earth is to clean up all the junk 
everywhere and not to waste anything and try to recycle as much as you can but if you can't recycle it you just gotta have it taken away to the garbage and then at the garbage they should make smaller they should have I think they should have a machine that can make the garbage smaller instead of just piling it up otherwise it's probably gonna stink more but it's better if there's less garbage at our school one way to help Mother Earth is like in gym we walk all the way through Neopet and pick up all the garbage as much as we can and with the garbage if we find like bottles maybe we might like just cut some off and use it as a pencil holder you can just use if you think if you think really hard of what you can make out of garbage it makes something pretty good so you should try and clean up your environment use as much garbage as you can to recycle it make whatever you think is cool or whatever you think you need because it's harder to just go to the store buy something and then just come back and when you're done with it just throw it in the garbage you could use it over and over again but if it breaks maybe try and make something else out of it so that's one way we how we help our environment here at our school so my name is Gomidokoe it means red spirit lady my English name is Savannah. Uh, I I think that we should take care of Mother Earth because it's beautiful. Also, my nominee name is Nekal Kesko. That means desert sky. And my first name is Shalinda. My last name is Nakwa. And uh, we need to take care of Mother Earth because uh, we need strength, life, and beauty. Teacher Beth Wakashan said students learn about the disconnection that occurs between people and Mother Earth. Wakashan said students are learning environmental issues and solutions and hopefully will continue environment friendly practices as they grow older. The land of the Menominee and the tribe's connection to nature are noted at several locations on the reservation including Spirit Rock, the 234,000 acre reservation has thick forests and includes 24 miles of the pristine Wolf River. Also, we want to be in the last week in Pocatcha Cabo, much of the town of Wiso. I'm at the Manet Cafe no more, feel we call it down no Kim. My name is Joey Wanapi, I'm the language and culture instructor here at the Nami Chippe School in New this week, we are focusing our energy and our efforts on the sturgeon. The Menominee are known as people of the wild rice, and Menominee legend calls the sturgeon the protector of the grain that grows in water. Corn said sturgeon hold a really high place in Menominee culture because the sturgeon guard the wild rice, one of the three gifts the Creator has given to the Menominee people. Sturgeon used to spawn in the reservation portions of the Wolf River until two dams were built blocking their annual migration route. Meanwhile, the Implementing Sustainable Development class at the College of Menominee Nation also took the EPA Great Lakes Challenge seriously by collecting electronic waste for recycling and pharmaceuticals for proper disposal. The tribe held e-waste curbside collections in April 2008. The students and Menominee Reservation residents turned in over four tons of electronics to be recycled. The goal of the EPA Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge was the collecting and recycling of one million pounds of electronics, known as e-waste, plus the collection and proper disposal of one million pills. The EPA says those goals were exceeded by 400 to 500 percent. This video and projects connected to the Great Lakes 2008 Earth Day Challenge was made possible by a grant from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency in collaboration with the EPA's Region 5 office in Chicago and the EPA Great Lakes National Program Office also in Chicago in cooperation with the nonprofit Interfaith Earth Healing Initiative in Marquette, Michigan. The Earth Healing Initiative involves American Indian tribes and a coalition of churches, synagogues, 
tribes and other faith traditions joining together to heal, protect, and defend the environment. I'm Greg Peterson, and you're watching Earth Healing TV.